back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to enable Dolby Atmos, lossless audio, and spatial audio on your MacBook Pro. The same things that we're doing here on the MacBook Pro should also work across the board with the other um, Apple Macintosh products such as the iMac, the MacBook Pro Intel, MacBook Pro M1, um, as well as the um, Mac Mini and the MacBook Air. So all of the computers should be exactly the same because it's the same exact interface that we're and software that we're using. Um, the only slight difference is, is th so there's some subtle changes with M1 versus Intel, but not anything when it has to do with the lossless audio. So to get started, you'll want to go ahead and open up the music application. After you open up the music application, you'll want to go ahead and click on where you see music in the upper left corner, select preferences, and then in preferences, you'll want to go ahead and select playback. If you look down just a little bit, you'll see an option that says audio quality. Under there, you'll see the options for lossless audio and Dolby Atmos. So we're going to go ahead and check the box for lossless audio. One thing to note with lossless audio is it only plays in lossless where you can actually hear the difference with lossless. If you're listening to it through a headset that's directly connected to the computer. Lossless does not currently stream over Bluetooth. Additionally, for high resolution lossless compared to just standard lossless, you do need extra equipment in order to listen to that music because it's way less compressed. And being that it's way less compressed, you have to have like an audio converter and such to actually be able to enjoy that audio. Then we're going to go down here to where it says Dolby Atmos and we're going to go ahead and select automatic. You can select automatic or always on. Always on just means that anytime the song supports Dolby Atmos, it'll play in Dolby Atmos regardless of what type of device you're using to listen to the music, such as headphones um, that are directly connected, Bluetooth headphones, or external speakers. Additionally, if you go back to general, you're also given the option to download music in Dolby Atmos. If you're enjoying Dolby Atmos and you download music for offline use, I recommend enabling this feature. Then you'll select OK and you're all set. Now you can enjoy music in lossless audio and Dolby Atmos. Now moving on to one more feature, I want to show you how to enable spatial audio on your Mac. One thing I want to note with this is your Mac may not support the option to turn spatial audio on or off just yet. This specific feature I'm actually seeing because I'm on the current beta for the M1 MacBook Pro for the newest operating system that will be launching this fall. But I know Apple has released software updates for the standard version that's out to the public. so you may actually already have this feature available. I will just check if it's there. If it's not, it just means that you can't enable spatial audio just yet, but it's coming to you pretty soon. So with your AirPods connected and in your ears, you're gonna wanna go ahead and play some sort of music. You're gonna wanna go ahead and go up to the upper right side of the screen, click on the control center. After you click on the control center, You'll want to go ahead and click on where you see sound, and then you'll see an option that says spatial audio. Under spatial audio, you'll want to go ahead and check that option. And the option should actually show up for you to be able to change once it is fully available. As you can see, even here on the beta, even we run into glitches. So as you can see, I can't really change the, the setting as of right now. But when the setting is fully there, you'll be able to turn spatial audio on and off from this option here. But that is how you enable spatial audio. That's how you enable Dolby Atmos and also lossless audio on your Apple Music using the M1 MacBook Pro or any other Mac products that are up to date with the latest operating system. And these same settings should be working up to the latest operating system prior to the beta. Um, which I believe that is Mac OS Mojave, if I'm not mistaken. 
Let's just take a quick gander on Apple's website. If we can find it real quick. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're using the MacBook Pro. Here we are. My apologies. It's Mac OS Big Sur. If you have Mac OS Big Sur or newer, you'll be able to see the same settings. So it's available for everyone with Mac OS Big Sur or newer. It may be available for older versions too because Apple has been adding the feature to older software. But to be safe, I'm gonna say that it may not be available. Just so that way later, you know, you don't come to the comments and you're like, it's not available and you told me it's available. I don't know if it's available on the older operating systems. The operating system for Big Sur and newer definitely have the feature available within Apple Music. Um, and if you enable it, you'll be able to enjoy those extra features that you are enjoying on your iPhone and also on your iPad. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today to check this out. I do thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys thumbs this video up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more. And also, don't forget to check out the music that I have. I'll leave a distribution link in the description box below. That way you're able to check out the music that I have produced. You can stream it on any streaming platform. Anyways, I hope to see you on the next YouTube video.